The Seattle Seahawks open up the 2022 NFL season on Monday Night Football against the Denver Broncos and their former franchise quarterback, Russell Wilson. Uh, the Seahawks are obviously in the midst of a super big rebuild right Very now. Large. Let us know in the comments what you think this rebuild looks like, how long it'll take, and how can the Seahawks get out of it. But Matt, what do you think about it? I mean, they're clearly in the rebuild, like you said. This is a team that got rid of their franchise quarterback in the whole idea being that they weren't going to get good while Russell Wilson was there because they were going to stay kind of yes. at that main level, I guess. I mean, that was them. They, they literally just kind of gave up. I mean, anytime you trade your quarterback, you trade Russell Wilson, a guy that if you just add a few pieces around him, yeah. he's going to be good enough to get you to the playoffs. And then once you're there, I mean, it's a toss up. That doesn't really make sense to me. It, that uh, yeah, but that, I mean, how that divorce if, if you're trying to like figure out something and look forward to something, you did get a good tight end in Noah Fant. You have DK Metcalf. You have some pieces that you can work with. I like the pickup of offensive tackle Charles Cross. He's looked good draft. in camp so far. He's looked good. So it's, you know, there are some pieces that you can look forward to as far as uh, the rebuild goes. I think they went hard on the uh, offensive line and defense in this past draft, and I kind of like what they did. Kenneth Walker is an interesting pick that could pan out. Um, so th this is at least another two, three years for sure. I want to see sure. what I want to see what they do in 2023 draft. Uh, and, but they do have some things that they could do. I mean, you could trade Tyler Lockett this season because there's going to be somebody who wants him. It's yeah. an and interesting it, point. Yeah. So you can still move some pieces to get more draft picks, and then try and get some guys in free agency with your salary cap, you know, space. Uh, and it'll just end up coming down to the quarterback. Really, as soon as they can find a guy that can actually run the offense and get the ball to DK Metcalf effectively. Cause I yeah. don't think drew lock is that guy. Really? Ah, I know it's you a big, surprising. I know. I know. C come at me. 12. Big take. I, big take right here. Hot take. Yeah. Geno Smith. <laughs> drew lock and, and drew might lock. not be good. Hot take incoming. <laughs> That's what you get when you come to BBM yeah. sports. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's not going to work until you find somebody that can actually move the football and, and yeah. be somewhat serviceable since you lost Russell Wilson. 100%. The Seahawks are in one of the worst spots an NFL franchise can be in. They're going to yeah. be one of the worst teams in the NFL this season and probably for a handful of seasons to come. Yep. I mean, let's, let, let's keep it real. I mean, it starts at the top, obviously, but that's how the NFL works. You need a head coach. Pete Carroll can no longer be the head coach in the NFL, let alone of the Seattle Seahawks. This man turned 71 this month, 71 years old. He's the oldest coach in the NFL, and he acts like it as well. I mean, let's look at last season. He had Russell Wilson, a former, uh, a multiple-time Pro Bowl, All-Pro, Super Bowl-winning quarterback, and he decided that his best chance to win football games was to run the football and play defense. The Seattle Seahawks couldn't run the football or play defense. That just wasn't in their DNA, but yet that was their game plan week in and week out. It's a bold move, Scott. <laughs> it's a bold move. That was, that, was, that was Pete Carroll's game plan, and that's why he can no longer be a head coach for an NFL franchise. Um, and also, we moved to quarterback. Obviously, they let Russell Wilson walk out of the door, a former Super Bowl winning uh, quarterback, and now they're stuck with Drew Locke and, and Geno Smith. Um, obviously, Geno Smith is going to get the start out the gate, as he probably should. But we've seen what Geno Smith is in the NFL. We've seen, for the most part, what Drew Locke is in the NFL. So until the Seattle Seahawks get, first and foremost, a head coach, yeah. second, a quarterback, most likely through the draft, they're going to be in NFL purgatory. And that's a not a good place to be. Coach. And that's not a good place to be at all. And not to mention they play in one of the league's best divisions. So uh, safe to say the Seahawks are going to be awful this year, probably for years to come until they figure out quarterback and coach. But explain the sign, what, what that means. Yeah, well, I mean, considering what you said, how Pete Carroll wanted to run the ball instead of pass it with Russell Wilson, it's kind of funny that he opted to pass it instead of run the ball with Marshawn Lynch. Seems like he's been chasing it ever since. Yeah. That's all he wants to do now. Should have ran run the ball. The ball. Should have ran the ball. Get Pete out of Seattle. Um, and things might turn around for the Seahawks, but until then, it's a fake bird. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out our other videos and don't forget to smack that subscribe button down below while you're at it. Also, for more great and original content, head right over to bbmsports.com.